Well, hope you guys had a very good weekend last week and a good start to this week. I have I've been pretty productive and also pretty lazy. Normally, I, I take Sunday and Monday to kind of just relax. Still get some stuff done, but nowhere near as, as go, go, go as the rest of the week is. So, um, oh, back to last week. Did you guys check out all of the kitchen utensil build challenge videos? Uh, last Friday, the 2015 kitchen utensil build challenge. Build anything for your kitchen, really. It doesn't necessarily have to be a utensil, although a couple of people did build utensils and jigs to make utensils. That was pretty cool. But, so yeah, there was a lot of them. There was whew, way more than I actually watched. I watched about half of them, so. Uh, I will, in the website article for this video, put a link to the playlist where you can just sort through all of them. A couple of people, I think, have put together playlists for that. So that was pretty cool, and we're still getting some other people to just randomly build something for this challenge. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you do make something, um, I don't know, I guess share the link with me and I'll throw it in the playlist. And uh, yeah, get out in your shop and make something. It's, it's always nice to come together as a community and just, just have fun making something. Last Wednesday, I went and picked up a welder. This is a Hobart, uh, what is it? Hobart Handler 140, uh, 120 volt MIG welder. Um, you can use it with gas or without gas. I've been using flux core with it because I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna be using it a lot to justify the cost of the gas bottle. Um, I know you get better results using MIG welder or using the gas as opposed to no gas, but I'm, just playing around with the past week, I'm okay with using the flux core, it's just fine for me. But anyway, so for the past like uh, 14 or 15 years or so, I've had, I've had access to a welder if I needed one for any type of small repairs or anything like that. And now that I no longer have my last job that I had, I don't have access to one anymore. So uh, it's just one of those tools that for me personally, it's cool to play with as far as making stuff. I don't think I'll be making a ton of stuff with uh, metal, but if I ever get the need to make something with, well, uh, with metal, I will have the welder here. And also for you know like general repairs on metal stuff around the house, um, talking about outside stuff mainly, uh, it's, it's very handy to have. So I went ahead and said, screw it, I'll buy one. This will be, uh, hope, you know, hopefully last me forever, really. These are some pretty good welders, so. A uh, good investment for uh, the future as far as I'm concerned. Can you guys hear that? We got an ambulance, my dog's barking, and crickets. The crickets are back already. Crickets and frogs and mosquitoes. It's kind of a noisy night out here. A couple weeks ago I mentioned that I'm going to WIA Woodworking in America in Kansas City, Missouri this September. Uh, I forgot to mention that, oh, hold off one second. Uh, I mentioned that the whole fist bump, I don't do handshakes and all that good stuff. That was an inside joke to somebody else who apparently didn't get it because they didn't pick up on it. So yeah, if you're there, I'll shake your hand, that's no problem. Uh, I'll give you some fist bumps if you're into that too. And also, uh, no, I'm not a germaphobe. Some people said I was a germaphobe because I won't shake your hand or none of that stuff. I'm, it was an inside joke, like I said. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting as many of you guys as possible. And I'm also looking forward to meeting as many of the fellow YouTube woodworkers as possible too. So uh, check out videowoodworkers.com. I think that's the website. If not, I'll, I'll flash something on the screen. But check out the website and sign up for email newsletters. That way you can get notified of any changes in the schedule for the people who will be in the booth. And it's not gonna be, you know, spamming your email with six things a day. It's probably gonna be, you know, once a month or less, to be honest with you. So uh, yeah, go check out the website, sign up for the uh, updates so you don't miss a thing. I've got the miter saw station design finalized with the sizes of the drawers and everything that I'm gonna be using. And I've started to break apart the model and make my, uh, what's it called, my layout diagrams for the sheet goods. And this thing is gonna be turning out, this thing is turning out to be a little pricey. I'm at, pretty much at eight, four by eight sheets of plywood so far, three quarter inch plywood for the vast majority of this stuff. And, you know, I could skimp out a little bit and go down to half inch for some of this stuff, but I really don't want to. 
So it's going to be a little bit more pricey than what I want, which I was kind of anticipating that. That's why I put it off for so long. I also ordered the drawer slides for it. Um, I found a place online. Well, my friend Nick Ferry sent me a link to a really inexpensive place to buy the drawer slides, uh, full extension metal drawer slides, and I will post a link to that as well in the website article for this video. So you guys can check it out if that's what, if you're interested in drawer slides and, and some other products. Uh, they got a lot of other inexpensive stuff there too. But the design phase is done. Uh, the planning stage is pretty much wrapped up uh, as far as what I'm gonna do first and all that good stuff. I am gonna record it. I don't know how much I am going to record because I really wanna get it done. And the forecast here is really kind of kicking me in the butt this week as far as rain goes because Tuesday, the day that this video will come out, is the only day in my forecast for clear skies. Well, no rain, I should say. It's probably going to be cloudy, but I need to get all my materials on Tuesday and really kick this thing in the butt and get this thing rocking and rolling. And I don't think it's going to be that bad, actually, other than the, the insane amount of drawers that are going to go in this. That might get a little tedious and repetitive and all that good stuff. But I think I can get uh, the bottom cabinets done and the work surface done and then the boxes behind the actual fence of the miter saw done and at that point I can put the miter saw in there and use the miter saw station the miter saw to actually finish up the miter saw station so I'm really really looking forward to getting this thing done so I can start in on some other stuff I hope you guys have a very productive week and hopefully are able to get some shop time in. Uh, I will see you guys as normally scheduled on Sunday. So take care, folks.